Hit TV KPM Chris, please okay. Aim for 20 20, huh? Okay, one Two Oh, finish huh. God Oh, wow, you got four. very close, okay, almost. My dear boy, can I try this again? This time must be 20. Okay, okay, 20, 20. Okay, 20. Can you help me? Let's go. One, two. Oh, oh no, God. that was a three. That is three. Okay. okay, that is the last one more time. try. Last yeah. try. One more chance. Young Tam, you can. One. Go for 20. Two. Oh. Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're healthy and having a good time. My name is Chris and you are watching slot Tahap 2 for today's subject of Mathematics DLP. And I'm here with teacher Kalai. Hi teacher, how are you? Hi Chris, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. And look at both of us teacher, we are so coincidentally matching. We are both wearing pink today. But anyway, teacher, I see a lot of numbers here. There's a whiteboard, a marker pen, and some magic boxes. I want to ask you, teacher, what are we going to learn today? Okay, before that, uh, thank you for your warm welcome, our studying host today. And viewers are out there, and my dear kids, okay, hope you're all in the pink of health. And today, uh, let's explore again with teacher Kalai about numbers, okay? Numbers, numbers as okay. usually I say, numbers are wonders. Yeah. Uh, Chris, so we're going to explore about numbers. Okay, and, so and hope be, you all stay tuned until end of the show. Okay, so to be more specific, we are talking about prime numbers and composite numbers. Is that correct, yeah. teacher? Mm. All right, and what is I'm, our? I'm surprising you how you can tell that prime and composite. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know that's that's uh, that's just some some some. Just now I asked teasers. you to aim twenty, right? Exactly. So can you tell it is is it uh, prime or composite? I'm actually not too sure, teacher. But, but I guess that is why we are here in today's class yes. to find out how to determine prime number and composite numbers. Yeah, and what is one. our learning standard for today or what are some of our objectives for our friends watching at home today, teacher? Okay, for the kids at the home today. Okay, today's learning standard as well, we see 1.3.1. Classify numbers within 100 into prime numbers and composite numbers. So we have to classify uh, numbers into prime and composite. Okay, mm. that is the learning standard. Okay, oh. for the learning objective today, uh, people out there and also our host today will identify prime and composite numbers using factorization. There are three methods, okay, factorization. And uh, the other one is the sieve of Erastonus. And er the last one is the, yes, the sieve of Erastonus. Okay. Uh, Era, okay, okay. Eratosthenes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's a world famous Greek mathematician. Wow. Okay. okay. And then the third one is linear equation 6n minus 1, 6n uh, plus 1. But our focus is on factorization and the sieve of Erastotonus today. All, all right, teacher. Well, I am excited for today's class. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah, so today we are going to learn more in depth on. Uh, prime numbers and composite numbers. But first, we're going to take a short break. Is that alright, teacher? Yeah. Alright, we'll take a short break. And for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Tahap 2, Delay TV KPM. See you after this. KPM d TV KPM Hi everyone, welcome back to Tahap Duo with me Chris MJ as your host for today and I'm also your classmate for today because I'm here with teacher Kalai for today's mathematics lesson on prime numbers and composite numbers Well teacher Kalai, I'd like to ask you in this segment uh, which, what are we going to focus on teacher? Okay, before I proceed uh, deeper, mm. uh, that is on prime and composite. Okay. So, students out there, you must know about odd numbers and even numbers. Still remember our last uh, class, our last lesson? 
So um, odd number and even number. Yes, please. Can you tell what is odd number and even number? Okay, even numbers are uh, can be divided with the number two. Is that correct? That's yep. the yep. even number. So mm. two, four, six, six eight, eight, ten, and, and, and go so on. So Actually, on. it is multiples of two. Okay. You're right. Okay. That's even and numbers. And how about the odd numbers? For odd numbers, uh, three, one, five. Seven, nine. So these are odd numbers. So the exclusion out uh, from the uh, even, even numbers, numbers, the exclusion are odd numbers. Okay. Yes. Why I ask the odd numbers and even numbers? Because when we come to prime and composite, uh, okay. you will learn that you will learn that odd and even also. Okay. Oh, so. All right. Shall we explore? Yes. Let's let's okay. explore, teacher. Okay. So numbers, uh, Chris can uh, divide into two. Okay. Uh, initially, they are called as natural numbers. Okay, natural numbers can divide into two. Before that, what are the natural numbers? Okay, the set of numbers from one, two, three, as three. you say just now, okay. and up to the infinity. Yeah. So, uh, are called as natural numbers. Okay. So, from the natural numbers, the numbers we can divide it into prime and composite. Okay. So, what are the prime numbers? Okay. Mm. So this is what we're going to learn today, right, teacher? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. And how to get rid the prime numbers from the uh, number set? Okay, today our focus is from number one to hundred only, kids. Okay, so explore prime and composite. Prime numbers are natural numbers, as I said just now. All the numbers are natural numbers mm -hmm. that have only two factors. Okay, two factors. here you have okay. to bear in your mind that is only one and the number itself. Okay. Okay, Chris. Yep. Can you understand? Teacher, but Again, what, I what repeat, is a factor, teacher? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I should ask you that. Okay, oh, what okay. is a factor? Okay. Um, Do you know what is factor? If I'm not mistaken, a factor is the number that is used to multiply to get that, that total number. Almost right. Okay. Almost factors, right. Okay. Factors are uh, two numbers okay. that contribute to a product. Ah. Uh, so that means you times the two numbers to get a new number. So that okay. are factors. Okay. I understand. For prime for prime numbers, it only have two factors. Okay, what are the two factors? Only itself, the itself. number itself and only one. One. Can okay. you tell some example on that? So for example, mm. um, fifteen we cannot. Fifteen we can have one and fifteen or three and fifteen as three a factor. Three and five. Three and five, sorry. You so multiply three and, three five, and five, you get, you get 15. fifteen. At the same time, you times one with fifteen, 15 you also you get 15. fifteen. So how many factors are there already? There are already four factors, teacher. Okay, you are in an advanced level already. Okay. Okay. So that, that <laughs> one is not that you. is okay. not a prime number, yeah. right, teacher? So prime number is only uh, they have only two factors. Mm. Wow, well, I think uh, three, teacher. Three. Why? Can you justify that? Because three has only two factors, uh, which is one. And three. Yeah, you are right. Absolutely right now. <laughs> okay, let us uh, okay. let's uh, look at the examples here. Okay, sure. you can see the number and the factors. Okay, the left side is the factors, right side. Okay, number three. The first one is number three. Uh, what are the factors for number three? As what uh, Chris said just now, one and three. So if you times one and three, only you can get three. No other numbers. Yes. Mm. Okay. So number five, one and five. Number eleven, one and eleven. Number seventeen, one and seventeen. How about twenty nine, Chris? Uh, 1 and 29, teacher. 37? 1 times 37. 83? 1 and 83. So, these numbers can categorize or can name as prime numbers. Okay. Are understand. you clear now? Clear, teacher. Okay. So, just now you said, you mentioned about 15, right? So, yes. if one is prime, what about the other? I've mentioned that earlier. Prime. All that, that is not prime. numbers yeah. can categorize into prime and the other one is? Composite numbers, teacher. Yes, as what you said, non-primes. Okay? Non-primes. Okay. So, what are the composite numbers, kids, there? Okay, composite numbers are natural numbers, okay? It's the natural numbers that have more than two factors, as what are uh, highlighted as Chris just now, 15, right? Okay, examples there, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Why they all composite? Because they have more than two, two factors. factors. Okay, what is composite? It's a new word today, what is composite? Composite, teacher. Not too sure, teacher. It's a it, mixture. I don't know. Yes, it's a, it's mix a combination, combination of things, right? Okay. okay. In in here, in numbers, we have more than two factors, so mm. it's combined with numbers. Okay? okay, to get the factors for the composite numbers. Apart of that, can you say other example? From okay, uh, twenty-four, teacher. Twenty-four, 24. is a composite number. Okay, because because 
um, the factors are 1 times 20, 1 and 24, that's one, uh, one set, uh, 6, 4, 8, 3, wow. that's already that's 6 factors super, already yes. there. Okay, so yeah. it is known as the composite, composite number. number. Okay, have a look okay. here. Okay, uh, there is a example of 6. Okay, 6 we have 1 times 6, 3 times 2 or 2 times 3 or 6 times 1. So it has 4 factors there, right? Yes. So 6 is a composite, composite number. number. Okay. Now, another example here, factors of 20. So we have uh, 1. 1 times? 1 times 20. 20. Uh, we also have 5 times of uh, 5 times 4. Why yes, is there five, 5? 5 times 4. Actually, uh, 4 is missing there. Oh, okay. 4 is missing. Okay, 5 times, five times four. 4. 10 times 2. Yeah. So these are factors of 20. Yes. So 20, uh, 20 is? A composite number, teacher. Yes. Okay, you are right. Okay. So we move on. Okay. Okay. Remember, okay, we are learning uh, prime and composite number. Okay. You have to remember, number one is neither prime or composite. Because why? Because it has only one factor. It is? It, because it is... It is what? You said only one factor. Ah. So what's the number? Its number is only one. One. Uh, okay. Right. So, so that's why we uh, tell that as a... Uh, we not categorize number one as a prime or composite. Okay. okay? Neither prime or composite. Okay, how about number two? Number two is the smallest and the only even prime numbers. Chris, you must know here. Okay, the prime numbers are uh, usually from odd numbers. That's why initially I re uh, yeah. I recall the odd and even numbers. Okay, students out there, you must know what is odd and even number. So, two is the even number. So, in prime numbers, two is the only even prime numbers and that is the smallest prime numbers. Ah, okay, okay, you got it? Okay. Got it. And a part of that, other prime numbers are odd numbers. Mm. So, is that all the odd numbers are prime numbers, Chris? Mm. Am I confusing you? Uh, no, teacher. I'm just, I'm just, I'm also asking the same question. Does that mean that all odd numbers are prime numbers and all even numbers are composite numbers? Okay. About the even numbers, I already mentioned here. Yeah. Only two is the even number. Okay. Uh, uh, even prime number, only yeah. one, that is only two one. and it is the smallest value. Okay. okay. When it comes to the odd number, students out there and also Chris, uh, not all the odd numbers are prime numbers. Okay, ah, because as what okay. I mentioned just now, prime numbers only have two factors whereby uh, number the number itself and one. Okay. okay? Later we will have a look at uh, examples. Okay. okay. And then number three is the smallest odd prime number. Just now the two is the smallest even number and number three is the smallest prime numbers. All right. Okay. So do you remember the three methods that I mentioned earlier? Yes. Okay. The first one was fact the factorization method or factorization, uh, the sieve of I, I always can't get Eratosthenes. this name. Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes. And lastly is linear equation. Yes. Okay. We have to, uh, we have to uh, what, say about this person, the yeah. Greek uh, uh, world famous mathematicians mm. who uh, created this method, sieve of Eratosthenes, okay. because uh, it comes under his name itself. It is the fun and easy way to find the prime numbers. Okay. Uh, the first method uh, invented to find the uh, prime numbers 1 to 100. Wow. So all the fame goes to that person. Okay. okay. So that's why the method is uh, named under his uh, name. Okay. And shall we? All right. Let's, okay. let's, let's try it, teacher. Okay. First one is the factorization, right? Okay. okay. I give you number, I give you number 16. Okay. Can you uh, list down all the factors, factors for 16? Yes. So I just write it around yeah, the number? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay. So that would be 1. Mm, 16 16 1 and 16 itself okay yeah 1 and 16 uh, and then can we say it is a prime number because it has 1 and the number itself but not yet teacher yeah. because we still we are still exploring okay. other factors uh, is there any other factors for yes, 16 yes that is 8 and 2 teacher amazing any other factors yes we is have F 4, four and 4. Okay, only 1, 4. So the factors for 16 is? Uh, factors for 16 are? 1, 4, 8, 16 and 2. So four. this is already more than 2 factors which means it's a composite number. Okay, I'll give the bigger number now, 17. Oh, okay. Hmm, maybe my friends can help me as well. 17, what are the factors? Oh, 17. 
Okay. They say it's easy as busy like yeah, that. They're, yes. They're it's so easy. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chris. Okay. Just so, having a cake, piece of cake. So one factor is one, and the other one is seventeen. Yes. For seventeen, without thinking much, we can tell that only one and seventeen. So when we have one and seventeen, two factors. So it is a. It's a prime number. Prime number. We have more than uh, two factors. It is a composite number. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, now that is the method of factorization. Next, we move to uh, sieve of Eratosthenes. Okay. okay. So here we have one to fifty. Okay. Yes. What Eratosthenes said is, we cross out number one because why? Because it's not a fact, uh, prime number or composite number. Neither composite yeah. or prime because it has only one, one factor. factor. Okay. Then I circle the second one. As what we discussed just now, two is the only, uh, only even, prime even prime number. number. Okay, after you circle this, you have to cross out all the multiples of two. Okay. Okay. What are they? Cross out the multiples of two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 24, 34, 44. Because what? I say just now what? The prime numbers are. Odd. Odd numbers. Okay, ah. so we cross out all the uh, even, even numbers, numbers here, multiples of two. Okay. okay, so done. Third one, we have three, right? Yes. Okay, as you said just now, three is it's a also a prime, prime number, number, and is it is the smallest, uh, smallest odd, prime odd prime numbers. Number. Okay. So we cross out all the multiples of three here. Oh, what else? Nine. Uh, twenty-one. Oh, sorry, fifteen. Twenty-one. Three times six. This one. Thirty nine. And then. Three times. This one. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we have we move to second one already cross up. Okay. Now we have five. Is that five? Is a prime number? Yes. Yes. Now we are going to cross out all the multiples of five. Okay, kids out there, this is the hint. To find the multiples of five, you must see the last digit, either five or zero. Oh, so that's the okay. multiples of five. five. So all the five, five, and five, the, the digit, zero, right? cross okay. out. Yes, the last digit. Okay, thirty-five. Very quick one, right? Ah, that's all. Okay. Okay. So we move to the next number. Six is already an even number, and then we circle the seven. Seven is a prime number. Prime now number. you cross out all the multiples of seven. Okay. So seven times two fourteen already. Okay, three twenty one. Seven times four twenty eight. Thirty five. Forty nine. Yes. Okay. okay. Now we move to eleven. So what okay. number you are going to cross out here? All the multiples of eleven. Eleven. Yes. So twenty two. Where's the twenty two? Already, ah, already out. crossed 33. out. Thirty three. Thirty three. Forty four. Forty four. Okay. So all already crossed out, yes. teacher. Yes. Okay. Next we move to thirteen. Hmm. Thirteen times two is uh, twenty. Already crossed out. Already crossed okay, out. Okay, and then thirteen times three is twenty thirty nine. Yes, thirty nine. Okay, already crossed already out. Already crossed out. Thirteen times four. Already crossed out. Fifty two. Ah, it's oh, more it's than fifty. Here. Okay. Okay. So, after that we have seventeen. We have nineteen. We have twenty nine. We have thirty one. We have thirty seven. Forty one. Forty seven. So all these are. Teacher, twenty-three and forty-three. Yeah, I miss it. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Oh, looks like I'm paying They're attention. They're helping me. Okay, thank you. Okay. So all these numbers are prime numbers. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is the again. method Two, of three, C for error of errors. Okay. So it's right. All these are uh, prime numbers, and as what you said just now, this is the. Uh, the the sieve of Eratosthenes method. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I just done up to fifty. Okay. Shall you do uh, from fifty one to a hundred? Okay. So I can. Uh, First, I give you. Yeah. I help you. You cross out all the multiples of two. It will be easy for you. Okay. Multi all the multiples of two. Yes. Fifty two is a multiple of two. Right? All the even numbers. Ah yes. Fifty two. Okay. Fifty four. Let me cross out all the even numbers. Yes. First. Yes. Eighty two. Ninety two. Uh, ninety-four. All the fours. All the fours, huh? All the six. Okay, the, the numbers six. end with two, four, six, eight, and zero. All are okay. even numbers, right? All right. Okay, okay, teacher. Next, you can move on. Okay, next. Ah, uh, five. The multiples of three. 
Uh, five. 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 Okay. What I say just now, you find five and zero. That will help you. Okay. To cross out the multiples of five. Okay. All the five is here. And the zero. Any zero? Okay. No more zero already, no. teacher. And then what else you can cross out? Okay. Next, we have to cross out the multiples of three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I feel like I need a calculator for this. <laughs> okay. So here um, it comes the mental arithmetic. Okay. Okay. The basic fundamental of arithmetic. Okay. Okay. Fifty-one. Okay. You can cross out uh, all the composite numbers. Cross out the composite yes, numbers. Yes. Huh? Okay. To get rid the prime numbers. Fifty-three. Uh, it's a lot of math going on. Seventy-seven is. Seventy-seven is of the composite. Eleven. Yes. Yeah. That one sixty nine have factors of three. Yeah. Okay, ninety nine, ninety three, eighty one, ninety one. Okay, I think I've crossed out. Now you you circle all the prime numbers. Okay, fifty three, fifty nine, sixty seven, sixty one, seventy one, seventy three, eighty three. Wow, very fast. <laughs> seventy nine. I hope students out there also can do as fast as our. Host today. Um, uh, how about eighty-seven? So it's missing there. Eighty-seven. It's is it a? Wait, I'm just wondering of the factors. Just find the factors of eighty-seven. Yeah, it. I think don't have teacher. Mm. Yeah, so, so it is it a prime number. Prime number. Okay. So make sure, Chris, fifty-three. Uh, it was. It has only two factors. Fifty-nine, okay. sixty-one, sixty-seven, seventy-one, seventy-three, seventy-nine. 83 87 89 and 97 so can you tell me how many prime numbers from number 1 to 100 many numbers teacher no i'm just kidding okay so we have to count yes so how many how many numbers uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's all together 25 25 okay, 25 prime numbers from number 1 to number 100 okay all so right. we already uh, look at two methods here one is factorization okay if only two factors that is prime numbers if more than two factors it is a composite number and then uh, second one is the sieve of eratosthenes okay yep. as the what the wise man said okay mm. you can get rid all the prime numbers uh, from the 1 to 100 okay, okay. linear equation 6n minus 1 and 6n plus 1 is uh, uh, which number fulfill that linear equation mm. is it is a Okay. Uh, it is a prime numbers, but it is to it's to, more advanced uh, level, adva teacher. Uh, to identify uh, greater numbers. Okay. okay. Yes. So, teacher, how did I do today, teacher? Like, do uh, is there any really, rewards for me? Really, uh, you are very uh, uh, faster grasping. Okay. okay. You are very good student. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so do I get any rewards? Uh, later. <laughs> later. Okay. So you later. You have to explore more. All right. Please. So, okay. Okay. Can teacher yes. will explore further after this? But first, we'll take a short break, and we'll be right back here with teacher Kalai for mathematics tahap dua. KPM V KPM Hi everyone welcome back to today's tahap 2 lesson for mathematics DLP with teacher Kalai and today the topic that we are learning together my friends is prime numbers and composite numbers well uh, teacher i see some very shiny boxes here and a lot of glittery numbers And on the table as well, a whiteboard. What are we going to do next, yeah, teacher? Yeah, Chris, you're right. You're going to engage with more activities to enhance your understanding on prime and composite, as well as kids out there. They here, they will understand more deep, deeply okay. about prime and composite numbers. So, All are you right. ready for the practice? I am ready, but are Now, my friends ready at home? You can try together as well, okay? It's a time to put all your knowledge into practice. <laughs> okay, let's try. I'll try my best, teacher. Okay, Chris. if wrong, it's okay, right? If let's say I made a We mistake, we learn from the mistake. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Can teacher. All right. Okay. So what ready? is the first activity? Are you yes, ready? I, okay. I'm ready. Double thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So on the whiteboard, you okay. give me you give me five prime numbers and five composite numbers. <sighs> five prime numbers. Five. I give you five prime numbers first, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, It could be any numbers as long as it's uh, correct prime numbers. Okay. Uh, two, three. Some more. What? What? What is the other prime numbers? Okay, five, seven, eleven. Okay, teacher. 
These are my prime numbers. Okay, can you name up? Okay, so 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Yeah, it's right, but... Prime numbers. Yeah, you are right, but okay. it is uh, down numbers, okay? You can go more to 50, oh, okay? Go, After go this, higher. I want you... Uh, go to higher. So, oh, I get... Since we are in... Uh, we are, Malaysians yeah. are going to celebrate Hari Raya, so this is a small gift from me. Ketupat. Oh, yay! <laughs> Thank okay, you, teacher. Okay, wow. plus okay, for you. Now, give me okay. five uh, composite numbers. Okay, five composite numbers. Uh, okay, teacher want higher numbers. I want higher numbers, yes. I will yes. give her high, higher numbers. Uh, 52... 64, 96, uh, 66, and 72. Huh, teacher, these are my composite numbers. Okay. 52, 64, 72, 96, 66. Teacher, these are very high numbers. Correct. Is that right? what Chris wrote is right, kids out there? Correct. Uh. Is it correct? Yeah, okay. Yes, but sir, correct. Can you name uh, 52, 64, 72, 96 and 66 are what number? Apart of prime and composite, what numbers are there? Okay. I can understand you focus on what? Specifically, you focus on? I actually focus on the last digit at the back because I understand that composite numbers are even numbers, yes, teacher. Yes, yes. So, these are even numbers. Yes, you focus on even, even numbers. Okay, give me one uh, uh, odd number. That is composite. That is a uh, composite number, odd number, uh, 69. Yeah. Yes, okay. 69. Yes, you are right. Okay. So, you are aware, you understand what is odd, even, and also prime and composite. Okay, okay. kids out there? Okay. Shall we move to the next one? Yes, teacher, we shall. Okay. We have a tree map out there. That oh, side. Okay. Okay. We call it as a tree map. Tree okay, map. you can see the... As what I mentioned earlier, we have natural numbers and that uh, natural numbers can uh, categorize into prime and composite. So, there are four lines there and numbers are... Uh, these uh, what, are the numbers. Yes, okay. All so, these just meters, okay. you create the numbers, two digit numbers or one digit number and you give the right prime and composite numbers now. Okay. So, let's start with the prime numbers first, okay. So, prime numbers cannot be even, so they have to be odd. So, let's start small. And I would like and to say... And 2 is the smallest? 3 even is prime the smallest. Numbers, yes. Pr uh, and not prime all odd. the odd numbers yeah. are uh, prime numbers. Okay. Let's go with... Uh, let's go higher. 11. Is 11 a prime number? Yes, right? Okay. 11. Oh, my hands are so shiny now. Um, <laughs> what? Okay. I think 5. 51. I will go with 51. This should be a prime number and one more prime number would be, let's go with uh, 7. Okay, teacher, okay. these are my prime numbers. Okay, my dear hero, we check one by one. Okay. What is the first number? 2. <laughs> Three, two is oh three sorry uh, uh, three. three has only two factors right one and three okay the yes. next one is what eleven eleven has only two factors right kids out there only one and the number itself okay we are right okay the third one is fifty one can you uh, tell me the factors for fifty one my dear hero uh fifty one and one how many are you sure y yes oh good there are more factors the teacher yes really a teacher yeah oh I oh no that means this is not a prime number. Okay, okay. So, can I, can I change my answer, teacher? Can I? Okay, can I? Give me a chance, teacher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what teacher I say. So nice we, we learn from mistakes. We learn from mistakes. Okay. Uh, let's go with 57. I think 57 is a prime number, teacher. Yes, you are right. Yeah. Okay. 57 so, and 1. Make sure uh, all the prime numbers only have two factors. Two factors. Okay. okay. So, how about composite now? Uh... For composite, okay, this one. So the hint, you can go for even, even numbers. numbers. Okay. And make sure that even numbers is a composite number. Okay. Ah, this one should be easy. 48. Mm, let's go with uh, 10. Mm, what else? What else? 44. Okay. My friend, my friend gave me an answer, teacher, so I'll just follow my friend. 44. Mm, one more composite number. Uh, 
Let's go. Oh, okay. Can you give a uh, odd number? Odd number, teacher. All that even, right? Just try with odd number if there is uh, enough number there. Hmm. I'll try. So just earlier, now you fifth, made the mistake. Yes. Uh, at yes. The prime, yeah. Okay. Uh, earlier just now. Okay, just now I gave fifty-one. All right. These okay. are my composite numbers. So your composite numbers are forty-eight. Can you read out? Okay, forty-eight, ten, forty-four, and fifty-one. Tell me the factors for forty-eight. <laughs> forty-eight uh, factor is one, forty-eight, eight, and six, twelve, and four. Twelve and four. Okay. Yeah, and twenty-four and two. Yes, twenty-four and two. How about the next ten? Okay, for ten. Uh, one and ten. Five, two. I think that's all. Yeah, okay, that's all. Four factors. Forty-four. Okay. Forty-four. Uh, eleven, four. First, you take one and forty-four. Okay, one, uh. forty-four, and eleven, eleven four, four, twenty-two, two. Yeah, you're right. Okay, last one, fifty-one. Just say you made the mistake, right? You put it at a prime. So okay. what are the factors for fifty-one? For fifty-one, teacher. For fifty-one, the only factors I can think of now is one and fifty-one, uh, seventeen and three. Yeah. Is that correct? <laughs> seventeen times by three is we get the fifty-one. Ah, okay, so, so finally you are uh, okay. out from the cheesy, right? Okay. Yes. So, can you get your oh token of appreciation? Yes. Another ketupat. One more ketupat. <laughs> ten, 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 okay. Ten. Okay. So are you ready for the next? All right. Activity. So earlier we did the first activity, which was prime uh, and composite. Let me composite. write down write the down. composite and prime numbers. Okay. Kids at the home as well as you also can write it down. And yep. then just now we uh, complete the uh, three map. Okay. Three now. Map. Okay. Next. Uh, our host is going to uh, circle all the prime numbers. Oh okay? wow! On okay. the whiteboard, yeah. Okay. The front one is one to fifty. The behind one is fifty-one to hundred. Okay. All the best. All the best. I need your help, my friends. Let's let's try this together, okay? Circle the prime numbers. Circle the prime numbers. So two, three, five, seven. Almost circle the wrong number. Eleven. Ah. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Fourteen. No. Fourteen. Fifteen. No. Sixteen. No. Seventeen. You omit all the uh, even numbers, okay? Omit all the even ah, numbers, yes. okay? Nineteen is the prime number. Prime numbers. Okay. Ah, uh, twenty-one. No. Twenty-two. No. Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yes. Twenty-five. No. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. No. Twenty-six. No. Twenty-seven. No. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. You no. pause there, right? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Ah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. You already paused there. So twenty-nine yeah, is yeah. the prime number, and then. Twenty-nine. Okay. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-seven. Yes, thirty-seven. Okay. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Ah, uh, forty. Forty-one. Forty-one. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-three, teacher. Yes. Forty-three, forty-four. Good job. Okay. Forty-five, <laughs> forty-five. No, no, no. Forty-five. No, forty-six. No, forty-seven. Forty-seven. Okay. Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Okay, so. So these are the prime numbers I've circled one, for two, one to fifty. So it, it's really a uh, right one. Okay. Okay, correct. Mm. So now we, we, go, to the 51 we go to fifty-one to hundred, okay. which is uh, another level now. So fifty-one is not fifty-two. Uh, no, fifty-three. Fifty-three. Okay, fifty-four. No, fifty-five. No, six. Fifty-six. No, fifty-seven. Yeah, fifty-seven. Why is fifty-seven? No. No, Adija. No. Oh, okay, okay. Fifty-seven is a composite number. Yes. Fifty-eight. Fifty nine, fifty nine. Fifty three is composite number. Ah, uh, sorry, oh. fifty three is a prime number. Yeah, fifty nine. Okay, fifty nine. Yeah, you are right. Fifty nine. Okay, sixty no, sixty one. Sixty one is a prime number. Yeah. Okay, sixty two no, sixty three. Sixty three is a prime number, Richard. Is it? I I. Sixty three is a. It's a composite number. Yes, composite okay. number. Sixty four, sixty five. Sixty-five. No. No. The five behind is multiples right. of five, multiples right? Multiples of uh. five. Yes. So Thanks for reminding. So you have to set in your mind, okay, yeah. all the uh, even numbers, and then you take all the multiples of five okay. that has zero and five at behind. Okay. So that means sixty-seven is a prime yes. number. Yes. 
Okay, 69 is not no, a correct number. Yes. Okay. 70, 70, no, no, no. So that's why I cross, cross, cross. 71. 71. Okay. 73. Yes. 77, no, it's a multiple 11. Uh, 79. 79. Uh, 81. It has more than two it, factors. 80, 81 has more yes. than two factors. 9 times 9. Right. 80, so 82, 83. 83. 83. Okay. Whew, this is a bit another challenging. Another two, another two. Ana the final, another, another two, another two. two. Okay. okay, another two. Teacher <laughs> already gave me a hint. Uh, 85, no. 86, no. 87. 87. Is, no. No, no, it's not. Okay, 88, 89, 90. 89. 89. 89, 89 and 89 the last one. Number. Last one, okay, it's not a multiple of 5. Not a multiple of 100. It's not an even number. Um, it's either 99 no, no. 91. No, 97. 97. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So this one, is, this, one is, this one is difficult. Kids out there, can we give another token of appreciation can. for our host, Chris? Can, uh, teacher. Wow, oh, teacher, you're <laughs> so kind. La. Thank okay, you so much, teacher. Okay, can I have the board? Okay, okay, I just want to explain here. Okay. okay. Kids, for you to remember, you can go by row by row. Okay, from 1 to 10. Okay. Chris, you can remember that 1 to 10, only 2, 3, 5, 7. Okay. And then 11 to 20, only 11, 13, 17 and 19. Yes. And then 21 to 30, only 23 and 29. So, ah. if you go row by row, you can easily memorize this. Okay. Because we see here, from 91 to 100, we have only one. Ah, yes. So, you can easily can identify 97 is the prime number. Okay. Okay, kids out there, I hope you understand. Yes, okay. I understand better now. Thank Next, you so much, we teacher. have an interactive online activity. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. You're so going what are to we spin doing? a wheel now. Oh, okay. Are you ready for that? And are you uh, yes. eagerly I, want to try that? I am excited to try this activity. Okay, so where's the wheel? Okay, so the wheel is over there. Or oh, is it this one? Yep. Okay, so oh. let's... I will be here. And when I tap this button, the wind will, spill, uh, will spin, okay? Okay, are you ready? One, two, three... <laughs> okay, okay, you see what number, what lucky number you get now. Okay, the number. Get ready? Okay, teacher. The number that we got is 81. So, you have to tell to the uh, viewers out there 81 is composite or prime? Okay, the answer is 81 is a composite number, teacher. Yes, you are right. It okay. has more than two factors. Yes, okay. okay. So, move on. Okay, let's try it again. Resume. And are you ready to spin the wheel? Please. What's next? 80? 89, teacher. Yep. Uh, 89 and... What's the answer? Prime or composite? Ah, yes. It has only two factors, right? Okay, teacher. The answer for 89 is it's a prime, prime number. Prime numbers, okay. Okay, move on. Okay, One resume. More. And spin it. Alright, and what is the lucky number? 46. Ho! Oh, this is easy because 46 is an even number. So and the answer is definitely it's a it composite, is a composite, composite, composite number. number. Okay. So are you enjoying the activities? Chris, I'm enjoying so far? the activities okay. so far, teacher. So Can we, we do two more? Oh, you want okay, to try two, two more? more. Yep. Okay. okay, let's resume. Resume this is and smart student. spin it. Because the more we practice, the more we get better. Yes. Alright, and the number is? Seven. The seven is a prime number, teacher. Yes, it is from it is uh, located from one to one to ten. 10. Okay. okay, and the last number we get is okay, resume and spin it. Okay, let's see. What is greater the final number, one? I want, I want to get number. my ketupat. <laughs> Sixty. This is easy because it's an even number. So the answer is it's a composite number, teacher. Yeah. It's yes. not a prime number, it is a composite number. Yes. Okay, can I have you here? Can teacher? <laughs> Get your another token ketupat. Okay. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Yellow ketupat. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay so next. I already have four. What's next? Next, Chris. Uh, okay, these are the two Ooh. boxes here. Okay. Okay, one is a prime and the other one is, can Com you see? Composite. Yes, composite. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you the cut sets of numbers from 1 to 200. Okay. Sorry, 1, one to 100. To 200. <laughs> Sorry, oh, 1, one to 100. 100. Okay. okay. This is going to be a rapid round. 
Rapid round, okay. Okay, uh, you are uh, entitled for one minute, okay. One so, minute. So, within oh, that wow. one minute, you have to uh, classify the numbers here into prime and composite, okay. You must okay. know which is composite and which is prime. So, this is prime and this is composite. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Ready, teacher. Um, I give you the set of numbers here. Okay. Can I have the timer? Yep. Yep, let's get the timer. One minute. Okay, so, so I just put it in the box okay, there. Okay, remember, this is prime, this is composite. Okay. Shall we start? Are you ready? <laughs> ready, teacher. I'll okay. try my best. My friends Three, are going to help me. Two, go. 72, composite. 97. Uh, 97. Let's just go on. Huh? Okay, I'll just put prime again. 95. No, it's a composite. 93. Uh, composite. 91. 91 is a... Uh, Composite because in 90 to 100 is only one. 66. Composite is even number. 64. Composite. 38. Composite. 47. Ah, 47. What is 47? Should be prime. 55. It's getting hotter, kids. Composite. Oh, 20, 29 seconds. 53 is uh, com no prime prime. 53 is prime. Should be prime. 45. Composite. 44. Composite. 43. Hmm. Composite, 36. Composite, 35. Uh, 35, five, composite. Five, five, 30, yes. 32, composite, yes. even. 24, even. 23. Uh, 33 is prime. 22. Oh, time's up. <laughs> wow, that was... That was That was tough. really challenging that and tough very challenging for you, teacher. right? Okay. But, okay, let's... let's Can I, we check? Yes, let's double okay. check the prime numbers. Okay, you check the prime numbers. Okay. And you tell me the answer. Okay, so you for... You did wrong or you did correctly all that? Okay, so for you prime... You take out everything, I everything? Yeah. Okay. And we count the total numbers. How many numbers are there? Okay, I got four. Four here, but I composite a lot, teacher. Composite is oh, a lot okay. there. Okay. But, never mind, let's check the prime numbers. Okay. So, 47. And ah. before that, yeah. one correct number is entitled for 10 marks. 10 marks? Yes. Okay, how many marks can I get today? So, let's see. 47. 47 is, uh, 47 is a prime, prime number. number. Right. So, correct. Okay. 10 points. 10. 53 is a prime 20. number. 20. 97 is a prime number. So Remember, just now, 90 to yep. 100 is only one prime number. Yep. 30. And 23 is a prime number as well. Yes. So... so how many points? 40 points. Okay, now, this is the uh, composite numbers. Composite so. numbers. Alright, so composite 24, 26, correct? 93. 90. Oh, 93, 30. 30. Okay, 72, 32, correct? 35. Um, there's a lot uh, here, teacher. So okay, I think, so how many points? So you let's just count, count the number, the, of, the uh, number of, of so points. So that means Chris done all correctly. So you've yes. got all the prime numbers and composite numbers. Yeah, so, right. so for so prime numbers and composite you, numbers, you collected I, so far? I collected uh, 100 points, teacher. Really? Yes, 100 points. Okay, so for that, I can give I get you two ketupat. Two okay. ketupat, yay, <laughs> thank you, teacher. Well, we're gonna. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm sure you're having a lot of fun as well, learning more about prime numbers and composite numbers. But teacher, but can we take a short break? Yep. Yeah. And for those watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Tahap 2, Dede TV KPM. See you after this. KPM Dede TV KPM Hi everyone, welcome back to slot uh, Tahap Dua Mathematics with me Chris MJ as well as teacher Kalai Unto uh, for today's topic which is prime numbers and composite numbers. Well teacher, what are we going to do in this segment teacher? Before that, I want to okay. uh, hear from you your feelings so far, how you are learning the prime and composite numbers. Yes, is I... Is it really challenging, tough or you uh, easily can tackle all the questions? Initially, it was challenging but when I learned the techniques and the formats on how to understand the prime numbers and composite numbers, I feel it's more exciting, it's more understandable now. Yes, yep. and more confident. More confident, that definitely. So, since you're more confident, I'm going to give you Quiz. Quiz. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, got reward, right, teacher? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can. The same ketupat for you. All right. So, what is <laughs> so the quiz? So, are you ready to answer the uh, quiz? Yeah, can, teacher. Okay. So, without delay, we go. So, the first one, 
list the first three prime numbers. Mm, the first three prime numbers, two, three and five. Two, three and five. They are the first three, three prime, prime numbers. numbers. Okay, you're right. Okay. Second one. Yes. So that's the answer, two, three, okay. five. Okay. Second okay. one. Second one. The prime numbers which come between 15 to 40. Okay. Um, 17. 19. 15 is not prime num number. 15 is not a prime okay. number. Because it has more than two okay. factors. I like your confidence. Okay. okay. 17, 19, 23, 29, uh, 31, 31 and 37. This should be the okay, six prime the numbers. Okay, we check the answer. 17, yes! 19, 23, 29, 31 and 37. Wow! <laughs> confident teacher, confident. Okay, for the third okay. one, Chris. Okay. Okay. The composite numbers greater than 50 but less than 80 are. But yeah, I want to simplify. The co you give me the composite numbers greater than 50 at the same time less than 60. Oh, okay, okay. Less than 60, greater than 50. So, uh, fifth, uh, 51, 52. 52, are you sure, my hero? Because it's a even, 52 it's composite a even, number. It's a so, composite and then, number. So, 51 is not a composite number. 51 is we not. We are looking for composite numbers, right? Oh, okay, ah, okay, okay, okay. Right, 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 right. So, 50. So, 51, 52, which is the composite number? 52, teacher. Yeah. So, 52, 54, 55, 56, 58. And up to 60. Up to six, uh, 60. Yes, okay. So, six. Check. Okay, yeah, the answer is up to 80, but never mind, 51. 52, actually 52, right? 52, ah. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58 and 60. Yes. Yeah, you are right. Okay. Okay. So, ready? We can move on? Can, teacher. Okay. Number four. The prime numbers which are factors of 15. Okay. This is simple factors of 15. Uh, three and five. Okay, you are really focused on the question because the question asks prime numbers, right? Yes. So, factors of 15, we have 115. 3 and, three and five. 5. So here, your answer is correctly. More specifically, you just uh, give me the 3 and 5. Yes. Meanwhile, the 1 is not a prime number, right? Yes. Okay. Good job. Okay. Yes. So 3 and 5. Okay. okay. So this is the last one. Write the text. Uh, the next two composite numbers in sequence. Composite numbers, Chris? Okay. okay. We have 62. 2, 63, 64. 65 and 66. Yes! Yay. <laughs> Whew. So, I managed by to pass. this I can tell you are a super duper student. Okay, really mind blowing. You engage all the activity uh, yeah. correctly and more confident. So, I passed the quiz, uh, teacher? Yes, yes, you have passed. Okay, yes, so, I'm so happy. As you want, I give you many, many, many ketupats. Oh, wow. <laughs> thank you so much, teacher. Yay. And thank you so much to my friends who helped me answer as well. Now, also, I do want to ask teacher, for my friends watching at home, where can they find the materials or, as we know, mathematics, you need to do a lot of exercise. Where can they find all these exercise sheets for today's topic? Okay, before that, mm. uh, Chris, uh, can I ask you something? Okay, teacher. Since uh, for the past uh, 40 minutes, we have learned about prime numbers and composite numbers, right? Okay, what, are, what is the, tell me one benefit learning the prime numbers. Mm. This is the futuristic skill, okay? Yeah. Mm. One benefit that I find from learning prime numbers is that... Or oh, the kids out there, why yeah. we should uh, learn the prime numbers? Yeah, why a teacher? I, you asked me back. Yeah. Why <laughs> Very smart. Okay. Yeah. Why actually, the prime numbers, numbers actually protect us from the cyber crime. Oh. Ah, do you know teacher? why? Because amazingly, the unique uh, factors of two, that is the large uh, prime, are not that much easily to crack. I see. Okay. You got it, the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so large uh, primes of yeah. the factor of 2, mm. uh, that numbers are not that much easily to crack. So that's why uh, it is used widely uh, for the security purpose. Oh, Only wow. the prime numbers. Amazing, right? Yeah, this is yes, something okay. new. I've never heard of this before. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing so that. So just now for your question. Okay, yeah. kids out there, you can... Uh, Find plenty interactive activities about this topic in Portal Sumbaku KPM. All Bukasuku. right. Okay. So with that, do you have more confidence on answering prime numbers and composite numbers now? Give me a thumbs up. 
Yes, look at that teacher, everyone. And uh, be because of teacher's amazing class as well, thank you so much for today's engaging class lesson as well. I have a better understanding on prime numbers and composite numbers. And I believe there are kids out there also. Definitely. Yeah. So thank you so much. And we will see you again here on Didate TV KPM. Bye, everyone.